Good morning, class. Today we're going to take what we learned about zentangles last time and apply it to an animal shape and kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. So I've got this transparency. It's a thin, clear piece of plastic and a outline of an animal. I've got a variety of animals you can pick from. I just picked a horse because I thought I really like horses. So I just placed my transparency on top of my paper and I'm going to pick a marker and I'm going to start outlining that this horse so I can get an idea about where um, the edges are. I'm going to start from the left side and move my right, way right because if you notice, I just did a line on there, but if I touch it with my finger right now, oh, it's gone. It takes about a minute for your marker to dry, so I'm going to make sure I do not touch anywhere where I have just drawn. And if I'm going over here, I can't smudge it with my hand. Got to make sure I'm being very careful. I'm going to work with the way left to right, since I'm right-handed. If you draw with your left hand, you start on this side. Okay, but make sure you are not touching this for a whole minute after you draw it. Tell you, it is really sad when you got a nice smudged up paper. So I'm outlining my whole horse. Let's see. Looks good. All right, so now I don't even need that paper anymore. I probably use the back of this. And now I can add whatever Zentangle designs I like. At this point, if I wanted to switch colors, I could. I think I might just stick with a lot of purple. Uh, I might give it a little break, feel it. Eh, it's feeling a little bit drier. So I'm going to start with some breaking up my shape. Maybe I'll do a little area here for her mane. Because there can be elements where you make it look like the animal. So these are all the different areas where I'm going to do different Zentangle designs. I like it. And now I'm just going to get started. Maybe I will switch my color now to a green. I think it would look really pretty. Green and purple look well together. And I might even wait a second though because now that, that I just drew is probably a little bit wet. So I'm going to let it give it a second to dry. You could blow on it a little bit. Make sure you don't spit on it because that would not work well. If I ever want to, also, I could turn it upside down. Oh, I want to work on this edge, but I don't want my hand to be on my horse, so I'm going to turn it upside down while I work on it. And you can just add whatever designs we practiced last time that you thought turned out really cool. All right. This is your chance to make it look like your own design. Make it look very interesting. The more you do lines and not just like color it straight in. The more interesting it's going to be looking. I could switch up colors and be able to do those two green. Maybe I'll do a blue one. Always clicking those lids. And see what you can do. 